Well, Rahul Bajoria, our Chief India Economist at Barclays, joins us on the phone line from Singapore to talk about this. Rahul, good having you. Thanks for joining in. Now, the, the news is bad, yes. Uh, the question is, is it possible to predict when this turnaround will happen? A couple of your peers and the notes that they've come out say that the base effect will likely help in quarter three and quarter four. We might also see a sequential pickup. But I'm, I'm, my question is, how is it possible to predict whether this fall in consumption will definitely see a pickup in the next two quarters or three quarters? Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. So I think uh, there is likely to be a bit of a pickup, you know, as you mentioned, base effects are one particular factor, but sequentially, uh, the impact of the monetary easing that has happened in the last, uh, say, nine months or so, uh, the fact that the government spending uh, side is also going to be slightly more supportive going into the second half, given the front loading uh, that, the, that the finance minister has announced. Uh, these factors, coupled with the fact that, you know, some of the weather-related disruptions that have happened in the third in the second quarter of the fiscal year will also fade away i think do sort of board slightly better but then overall if you take it from an output gap perspective i think output gap in india is going to remain negative at least for the next uh, uh, 9 to 12 months so yeah but but then the larger question is one is the the numbers that come out as a result of the base effect rahul is one thing uh, the larger question about when will we see a meaningful is it possible to predict when will we see a meaningful pickup in consumption? Because frankly, I think I personally have given up talking about the pickup that will happen in private capex because it's 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 like the story of the wolf or the child crying the wolf and the wolf never happening, never, never coming really. Yeah, so private consumption, if you take, say, 7.5% as a threshold level at which, you know, we would say that uh, private consumption is growing appropriately, uh, we only see that happening in uh, sometime in the second half of next fiscal year. So effectively, after, uh, till, say, for the next one year or so, we don't really see private consumption growing rapidly in India. I think uh, this is partly down uh, to the fact that, you know, funding issues are still kind of prevalent. Uh, but then uh, we do think that there's going to be a modest recovery in consumption numbers as the impact of uh, lower borrowing costs, uh, you know, uh, income growth uh, picking up slightly in the, in, in the, in the second half of this fiscal uh, sort of starts to improve sentiment. Mm. Rahul, uh, the other, other question would be, I think across social media, across some reports that I've seen, uh, the harsh critics are saying that oh, what we essentially need is the government to infuse dollops of capital into public spending, maybe cut taxes, so on and so forth. I mean, what about the fisc situation? Fiscal deficit as a percentage of GDP with the numbers of GDP cooling off the way they are is likely not coming off despite the large transfer from the Reserve Bank of India. Does the government have the financial wherewithal to try and go out and give these dole outs in order to spur a sputtering economy? So I would say there's a, a short view and there's a long view. I think in the short view, uh, I think there's a general consensus now building up in India that aggregate demand as such, uh, you know, within the economy has weakened. And uh, typically, uh, the way you come out of it is that you get a bit of a booster shot from, you know, government spending or tax cuts. And that typically tends to drive a bit of a recovery. I think the long view of it will be that if we don't do anything on the fiscal side at the moment, there's a risk that you're fiscal position deteriorates irrespective because of, you know, weaker tax collections on the back of a weaker economic outlook. So I think the, the government seems to have kind of taken that message and it is the fact that we have had two rounds of, you know, uh, pretty large announcements on the reforms front and in terms of uh, front-loading spending is, is something that they should be taken positively and it should have some positive impact down the line, uh, you know, uh, whether it's in three months or six months, it's a bit difficult to say right now. What's the biggest pill that you would advocate, Rahul? You may have looked at other economies which may have in the past, not of India's size really, but maybe smaller size, but might have done this as well. Uh, is it is it a tax cut led uh, consumer spending, consumer sentiment lifting move, or could it be something drastically different that you believe is the key thing that should be and can be done? So I think the biggest, uh, most important thing is effectively signaling that the government is taking course correction or, you know, uh, taking steps to kind of revive uh, sentiment. I think to an extent that has already begun uh, in case of India, uh, given the given the action we have seen in the last uh, couple of weeks or so. In terms of specific policy prescriptions, I think uh, anything that boosts uh, aggregate demand in the system, uh, particularly consumption sentiment is, is very important uh, in our in our 
opinion to kind of you know come out of the current rut we are in okay um well let's hope uh, something happens I'm, i'm sure the government is trying to do its bit uh, but let's wait and watch how and how soon uh, do these measures materialize rahul uh, take a moment to thank you for joining in today and giving us your perspective really appreciate your time mm-hmm.